Welcome back to the Glass Blueprint, the podcast where we explore the future of architectural glass through the lens of innovation. Imagine a world where your windows don't just let light in, but also produces oxygen, mimicking the magic of the nature itself. Could glass one day act as the urban forest that we desperately need? Although it may take us another hundred years to reach that technology. But as of now, let's explore the new technologies that are already here or just around the corner. Welcome with me our guest Mr. Salish Ranjan Gupta, a leading expert in the glass industry with deep insights into its advancement and sustainability potential. Welcome back to the podcast sir. Thank you so much Devanjana for having me once again. Last time we had established that glass is a sustainable material. We also discussed that it has come a long way from simple windows to facades and skylight. So today I want to start by asking how has it evolved over time and what makes it so integral in modern building design? Oh it's it's a great journey what glass has uh, evolved. If you'll see the journey of the glass you must have seen a glass window pane right. and that is how the glass used to be known. Today we are looking at the complete facade and it is not only just the aesthetic i'll give you a one example i'll start with this example of eyewear like we are wearing a specs the glass wear today it has grown to the fully facade which we are wearing as a wardrobe that is how glass has traveled its journey do you know that it is not only the aesthetic of the product which makes the glass special it is the functional ability think about any wish list about the glass you talk about the energy efficiency glass can do that you think about the acoustic sound reduction glass can do that now there are a lot of noise outside in the traffic area glass can reduce that noise oh. it is the only building material which can allow the daylight without compromising on your safety do you know that and that is right. what glass can do for you there are multiple such kind of function you don't even know you have spoken about the urban forest maybe it a distant journey in the next 100 year i see that happening in the next 50 years as you rightly said sir we see glass everywhere but i remember being told in college that glass is a sleek aesthetic material that is fragile and needs high maintenance but from what you are saying glass has come a long way so can you share with us some examples of advanced glass technologies that we have today Oh, there are multiple example. If I'll start with all the examples, the day will be less. But yes, as you rightly said, glass was considered to be the aesthetic material, as I said. But today, in its journey, if you'll see, the glass has become a functional product. Hmm. It's like some some of the architect which uh, was telling me that in a kinetic facade, glass is like it is dancing in the building. You know. it is dancing in the tune of how the sun moves how the heat moves and keeps your building cool oh, that's interesting that's what glass can do as you rightly said that uh, there are myths that glass has to be used for aesthetic hmm. it is high maintenance product and it is fragile but how fragile if i will give you a gun and if you want to hit you cannot break that glass that okay. kind of toughness what glass has got now you can have the glass bridges where you can actually walk upon the glass and nothing will happen so every glass in this world is fragile but it has become strong enough that you do not need to worry about its uh, breakages think about the maintenance which is the third part you spoke about hmm. now glass is one building material which requires the least maintenance because there are multiple technology which has come which makes the glass self cleaning also which we will talk about that of course later in addition to that if you know that glass has gone one miles ahead where it is not only talking about all the functional property it actually can create the electricity oh so speaking about that i have been reading about building integrated photovoltaics yes so can you share more on how glass acts as an electricity generating material oh i normally call this the overachiever of the glass <laughs> it is like an employee of the building which is working 9 to 5 and generating electricity for you how it actually works is glass is there outside which is giving you the aesthetic which is giving you the functional property 
but at the same time it is generating the electricity and by doing that in the indirect form it is charging your phone it is running your air conditioner in the building and that is the game changer which uh, glass can do with the help of this uh, technology of the bipv and there are many more sub- such technology which is going to come it is not only to be used against the wall hmm. it can be used as the vision panel as well where you are generating the electricity and at the same time you can see through that there are some challenges in this uh, technology today uh, because india you know that there are a lot of dust particle which is there with- yeah right so yeah. i was about to like tell you on this that in one conference i had heard that to use bipv you need regular cleaning of glass yes and of uh, this brings me to my next question that in cities with high pollution levels and also with difficult to reach facades is there any self cleaning technology in glass available theoretically yes mm-hmm. uh, practically it is being tested today uh, so you have asked a very pertinent question because if the bipv has to work right. it has to be cleaned hmm. so that it is taking lot of solar radiation and converting that into the electricity right hmm. if there are dust particle which is settled on the glass surface it becomes very difficult that bipv to generate the electricity hmm. and that is where this new technology comes into the picture which is called self cleaning glass oh how does it work so uh, the self cleaning glass basically it is a kind of coating on the surface hmm. and this coating accumulates all the dust particle and convert that into a crystalline form hmm. and as soon as there is a rain it washes away all the dust particle but the challenge with this product is that you have to have that kind of climate where you have sun and followed by the rain and that is where this technology is struggling but i am sure that with the pace at which glass is evolving this technology will also find its uh, place which can be a solution for the bipv as well right and also you know we keep on hearing about smart glass Yes. so mostly we have heard about uh, people being smart smart cars but what is a smart glass can you tell us uh, you can call these kind of glasses as the smartphone of the, of the building material okay it's sleek but at the same time it is loaded with the functionality why these glasses are called smart glass because it reacts to the environment it reacts to the some stimulus what are those stimulus suppose i'll give you an example that you are having a conference and you your conference room is with the clear glass you would not like people to see inside that what you are talking during the conference but at the same time when there is no conference you want that glass to be as clear as possible so that the vastness of the office is seen you can do that with the help of a switchable glass this switchable glass converts between opaque and transparent just by the flick of a switch oh wow that is called switchable glass you have electrochromatic glass hmm. which changes its chrome from the clear glass to tint by electricity you have thermochromatic glass hmm. a thermochromatic glass changes its tone by the heat if the temperature rises it becomes tinted if temperature reduces it becomes clear that's amazing and last but not the least is hmm. photochromatic glass which we all are using today you must have seen a lot of specs right. which is photochromatic today it is coming into the building as well so these are very few of the many examples of the smart glasses which is available currently all right so lastly with the world changing so rapidly durability and adaptability are more crucial than ever are there any plans to develop more adaptive and resilient glass oh it has already developed mm-hmm. i'll talk about some adaptive glasses you must have seen in uh, most of the home uh, the curtains and the blinds which is put on and child are getting entangled on that right think about some scenario where you do not need to put any blind but blind is still there okay it can get inside the glass which is called integrated blind where blinds are inside the glass it is doing all the functional property what it is supposed to do which means cutting out the light when it is not required cutting down the heat when it is not required but at the same time reduces all your maintenance cost reduces all those entanglement which normally can happen these are some adaptive technology which is being developed not only that in addition to all these adaptive you are talking about durability right as i spoke about the rigidity of the glass today 
hmm. we are using the glass for fire safety we are using the glass for bullet resistant we are using the glass for the swimming pools today you must have seen a lot of uh, places where the glass swimming pool is made yes so yes a glass has become a lot durable as well as resilient wow that was interesting to know you also spoke about resilient glass can you tell us more that what does it mean it is not exactly the resilient glass it is the resilience through glass there are glasses you must have seen that surface quality of the glass deteriorates hmm. and surface is uh, corroded hmm. there are technology available today where glass can heal itself okay. which is called self healing glass wow where there is the coating which is done so as soon as the surface of the glass is corroded with the chemical reaction on the glass this builds and heals all the surfaces of the glass and it becomes a newer glass as it was earlier you can talk about uh, some movie of the x men like wolverine which heals itself but more shinier that is what glass for you wow i have learned a lot today thank you sir for such an enlightening session thank you so much debajana for having me for this episode an absolute pleasure sir glass is truly evolving from a simple building material into a key enabler of sustainability and innovation for our viewers remember sustainability starts with informed choices whether you are building designing or simply learning every step counts towards a greener future join us next time on ais glass blueprint podcast until then stay curious stay sustainable thank you